there is beauty in imperfection. I don't know how many people have heard that before. I don't know what you think about it, how you feel about it, but that's what I'm going to be talking about today in this video. So I remember there was a time when I and two of my friends were, you know, going through a lot of emotional issues. One friend had the diagnosis of cancer. One just got some news that we weren't so happy about. I had my own troubles and it just felt like we were all burdened by so much and it was bearing down on us. And I think a couple of us were half in, half out of depression. And this night, we were talking to ourselves and we were just on the phone laughing so hard. I think it was a group chat on WhatsApp. I don't know if we did video calls. I think we also did voice notes and we were laughing so hard about the most mundane things, the silliest things. And I really felt so happy in that moment. And I loved this girl so much. And I laughed so hard, tears came to my eyes. And when I wondered why I was teary, I realized that it was just the beauty of that moment. This is a moment where all three of us had either gotten bad news, given bad news, felt horrible, nasty, terrible about life, our lives in that moment. But somehow, amidst all of that, we were laughing, talking, gisting, and just having a really good time. I really enjoyed that moment, no matter how bad I felt, no matter what was going on in my life. And I just got thinking, this is such an imperfect moment. There's so much imperfection in our life, so much pain, so much that we are holding on to inside, or not necessarily holding on to, so much that we're feeling inside, so much that feels like it wants to strangle us, bearing down on us. I remember thinking about the news my friend gave me, and I'm like, where do I start? How do you give me this kind of news? Where do I start? My other friend gave me another, and I'm like, what is going on? Like, okay this adulting thing <laughs> but all in all we're laughing and i thank god for those girls i thank god for them so much thank you jesus and in that moment i just realized that with all of this happening we can still feel this good the beauty i took out in that was the fact that amidst our imperfect lives and imperfections in ourselves and what was happening generally we were still able to come together, even with all the differences that, you know, um, are peculiar to us, our identities and everything. We were still able to come together, express ourselves, have a good time, feel love, express love and just laugh. <laughs> really laugh. And it just, it sunk into me. There's beauty everywhere if you're looking for it. I think this is one of the episodes in my podcast. I think so. And one of the most listened to actually. So what I want to tell you guys today is that there is beauty in imperfection. And there is beauty in everything as long as you are searching for it. We already all know that if you're looking for something, guess what? You're going to find what you're looking for. If you're looking for a problem, you'll find one. If you're looking for beauty, you'll find one. Whatever it is you're searching for in a thing or a person or a place, you will find it. So... I think it's important to remind everyone out there that you may be going through a whole lot of stuff like right now I mean but even when you cry and sometimes you may not necessarily see or feel the beauty in the moment but even when you cry remind yourself that there's beauty somewhere guess what I need to open my eyes and look for it you see the most broken people you can always find a beauty in the fact that they're strong or any beauty in the fact that their weakness, their vulnerability, their brokenness can be a source of power for other people. Yeah, you're coming from a place of brokenness and sadness, but guess what? We can tap into that and create beauty from it. When you see people going through a whole lot of pain in life, it's so painful, it's so breaking and frustrating, and I will never ever say it's not a big deal. It is such a big deal. People are going through a whole lot. But if you're that person going through that thing, begin to tell yourself, and this is very hard, very hard, even I am struggling with it. Begin to tell yourself that, guess what? Can I find beauty in this? Where can I find beauty in this? Or how can I create beauty out of this? And that should be your goal. 
that should be your struggle. And if you think it's too hard to create beauty or find beauty in it, your beauty should be the journey to living that thing. What do I mean? If you're in a situation and you try to find the beauty, create beauty, feel the beauty in it, and you can't, it's too hard. Maybe your own beauty is your journey out of that thing. For instance, if you're in a marriage and your husband keeps beating you, you're in a relationship, your boyfriend keeps, your boyfriend keeps beating you, you're in a relationship, your girlfriend keeps beating you, harassing you, and you try to find the beauty in that, there is no beauty in someone beating you, no. You try to find the beauty in that and you want to stay there and find beauty and be beaten every day and find beauty in the fact that you're strong enough to be there. Find beauty in the fact that you detach yourself from abuse. Beauty in the fact that you're strong enough to work your way out of that situation. Sometimes your beauty, your glory, your endurance, your savior, is just you walking away from things. You don't have to endure everything. So there is beauty in imperfection. There is beauty in everything. You just have to look for it. You just have to find it. And looking for it and finding it doesn't mean you have to keep yourself stuck in situations that are killing you because you're looking for beauty. That is very important. You should note that. Don't keep yourself stuck in situations that are killing you, draining you, ruining you, and are not for you, all because you're looking for a beauty in it, even though there is beauty in everything. Maybe your beauty in that situation is taking yourself out of that situation. That journey on its own, or that process on its own is a journey. A painful journey, a hard journey, but a beautiful journey. A journey that births a new, beautiful, worthy you that was so worth it. So I don't want this video to be too long. Like I said, I'm out of sorts. I have a headache. I am hungry. But um, I just want to let you know, guys, that there is beauty in imperfection. There's beauty in everything as long as you're looking for it. If you are in a situation that is killing you, your beauty may be walking out. If you're in a situation you don't understand, your beauty may be found in working it out. If you had bad news with your friends, sometimes the beauty is in the strength. The strength to handle it together, to fight and to stand strong is such a beautiful thing. That's why we have testimonies. That's why we have beautiful stories. I look at myself. I am skinny. Some people do not like it. But guess what? I find the beauty in my body and I dress to work it. I bring it out. I make myself look beautiful and I strut. I have huge ass teeth, but I'm learning and teaching myself, <clears throat> teaching myself every day to smile. And to smile with my huge teeth and let people see it. And I find that the beauty in that is my confidence in smiling through something I do not like about my body. And slowly, I begin to like myself, even with my huge teeth. And guess what? People out there love it. If you're on the thick side or if you're fat, your beauty should be in owning your flesh and loving it. It should also be in working out and losing it. Don't let obesity get you to a place that you do not love. Don't get obese because you have excuses or because you're finding beauty in it. Your beauty can be in working out. Your beauty can be in owning your size. Your beauty can be in failing at an endeavor, but remembering and reminding yourself that you're not failing in life. Your beauty can be in knowing that you are not enough for one person, but also knowing that I am more than enough for 50 other people, for another person out there, for the right person. Your beauty can be in knowing that I made a bad decision but guess what? I am proud. I am strong. I've learned my lesson. I'm glad I took the risk. I will push through it. I will move on and I will make better of my life. Because it is that thought process that takes you to a higher stage, a better step where you do better, clean up your mistakes and become better. And guess what? You now have a beautiful story to tell. So there is beauty in imperfection. There is beauty in everything. You just have to find it. Artists pick up dirt, pick up things and they make artful creations out of them interior decorators see a messy house and they flip it and it becomes a heavenly abode i could go on and on and on and on but like i said i want this to be a short video so guys please remember 
there is beauty in imperfection and there is beauty in everything it can get very hard and i say this very deeply it can get very hard to see but as long as you're searching for it you'll find it or you will create it but that knowledge should not make you put yourself in situations that are killing you and that are not for you because sometimes your beauty is simply walking away simply letting it go simply moving on to something else the beauty in that process that journey might just be the beauty for you so in every situation you find yourself it is hard i say it again and again i am not there 100 percent. i'm struggling with it it is so hard i'm very emotional i tend to get stuck on things i overthink i have anxiety so it is hard but that knowledge somehow always pops in and i may not get it right in all instances i may not always remember to find the beauty in a situation i am in at the moment but slowly it will consume me to the point where it becomes a second nature and I just want you out there to have that knowledge. You may be better at it than me, who knows? And I would love that for you. So that is it on today's video. This beauty in imperfection, this beauty in everything. Drop a comment and let me know what you think, guys. And um, please like, comment, share, and please do subscribe to my channel. That would help me a whole lot. Um, I will see you on the next episode.